you're about to watch a 3D animation on Borreliu syndrome. If you suffer from chronic migraine headaches, suboccipital headaches, chronic neck pain, dizziness, drop attacks, vertigo, ringing in the ears or tinnitus, you've been diagnosed with post-concussion syndrome or have the sequelae after a trauma to your neck or a post a whiplash type injury, then I think this video is going to be very informative for you. On this video, you're going to see that Borreliu syndrome is caused by cervical instability, where the cervical instability causes one of the cervical vertebrae to actually interrupt the autonomic nervous system or the cervical sympathetic ganglion on the front of the neck. You're also going to see where prolotherapy by tightening the capsular ligaments will stabilize the vertebral motion so it's not excessive anymore, which will cause there to be no pinching of the autonomic nerves. And then you get the resolution, or at least there's the potential to have the resolution of the symptoms of ringing in the ears, uh, tinnitus, and all the other symptoms that are part of Borreliu syndrome. For those that aren't familiar with the term prolotherapy, prolotherapy involves the injection of various substances that stimulates or activates the healing cascade. So the body then starts the inflammatory process which is involved in causing tissues such as ligaments to heal, tighten, or repair. The healing cascade goes through three phases. The inflammatory phase, the proliferative phase and the tissue remodeling phase. This is why prolotherapy is done every four to six weeks. Most people require anywhere from three to six visits, though individual cases can take more visits than that. This 3D animation will clearly show what causes Borreliu syndrome, uh, which is ligament injury in the neck. Here are some symptoms characteristic of Borreliu syndrome. The most serious are vertigo, migraine headaches, tinnitus, and dizziness. Here you can clearly see where exactly the cervical sympathetic ganglion are. They lay just anterior to the vertebrae. When the neck flexes and the neck extends, the vertebrae are supposed to be held in alignment so that there's no irritation of the autonomic nerves, the sympathetic ganglion. When there's injury to the capsular ligaments, as shown here, the vertebrae slips forward and this stops the outflow track of the sympathetic ganglion. You then get all the symptoms of Borreliu syndrome such as migraine, headaches, vertigo, dizziness. Fortunately, prolotherapy to the capsular ligaments, as illustrated here, can cause the stabilization of the vertebrae so there's no excessive movement, relieving the pinching of the autonomic ganglion and thus the relief of the symptoms of Borreliu. If this video applies to you or somebody that you know, feel free to contact us through our website and give us more information about your condition and, and we'll let you know whether or not we feel prolotherapy is appropriate for you.